Hey guys, Fresh Laws, and uh, I have this brand new 2017 Jeep Renegade Limited, and I want to do a quick review. I've been driving it for a couple days. If you uh, are on my channel or um, you know a little bit, I have a Dodge Challenger GT, the all-wheel drive. I do reviews all the time on newer vehicles I get, so please uh, like my video below and subscribe if you guys like. Um, I always do new uh, Mopar Chrysler videos, which I'm going to start doing. So my Dodge Challenger is actually in service. So they gave me the Jeep Renegade 2017. It's got about a thousand miles on it and it's the limited. So I'm going to do a quick review on driving it and letting you know how it feels as well. So on the keys, which I'll show you right here. It's got the unlock, the open, and if you hit it twice, it's got the automatic uh, car start. So it's got the turn signal blinkers. It's got the safety on the side. And uh, in case there's a, a car on the side of you, and um, it drives like a Jeep Wrangler. So I'm not gonna say it drives as good as a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I know uh, my uh, Dodge Challenger drives like a Benz compared to this, but it's nice. It's got um, little, uh, little always on lights. It's got fog lights and it's got regular lights. If you look at that, it's actually got the Jeep logo in right there in the lights which I like a lot. The roof actually comes off completely. So it's got um, good material. So this is it open but there's handles to turn it off. So on the handle it does have the lock and open from the outside. It's got Beats Audio got the full control for both windows, power seats, and lumbar support. And so let's look on the inside. So the engine's running. It's got the push start on and off right there, if you can see. Um, so the keys can be in your pocket. I like the steering wheel. It's not as nice as the Dodge Challenger. It's kind of like it's not heated. And, um, and then let's go to uh, the controls. It's got a smaller screen. It's got full navigation, touch screen. So you can uh, watch and set it all up. Radio, it's got the X, XM, FM, AM. Uh, phone, obviously, media. Let's see what it's got on the media. So, Bluetooth, obviously. And it's got apps. So, let's look at the apps. So, it's got the compass, your phone. And then, right here with the AC, you can turn that on. It's got uh, both sides of climate control, the sink uh, for your phone, and it's got all of the controls that you would want for AC to turn it off you hit right here it's got the shifter with the tiptronic as you can see right here here are the compartment we got a little Dunkin Donuts in there right now it's got the traction control right here parking brake and one of my favorite parts about this is both seats I don't know if you can see it it's got an imprint of the front of the Dodge which is awesome so now let's look at the top so it's got two different controls so let me close it up and you see if you pull this on this side and that side you can actually remove the whole top which I love and it's like a little felt kind of material right there it's got a little bar in the middle but it is roomy um, the back once you put stuff in there when you open it up I'll show you close it off so people can't see this one does have the leather seats in case it does rain 
Got a nice big compartment. Obviously beats audio, sounds great. If you can hear the And here it's uh, it doesn't stay by itself, so it does fall when you uh, when you don't put up the bar. But let's take a look at the engine. It's got a 2.4 liter multi air, so smaller engine compared to my uh, Dodge Challenger, obviously. But it, uh, it looks very compact. Got the Mopar battery. Um, is nice mine is in the trunk and the engine is smaller but you'll save more gas so it looks really nice let's let's close it so let's do a little little side view on it it's a nice little car and um, the brakes are nice but I don't like how it drives. I'm used to um, a certain feel. So this one actually doesn't have uh, the cap. It does a compression seal. So that might be better. You don't have to put the cap everywhere. Here are the tail lights, and which is cool. It's got the little Jeep logo. And to open it, there's actually a button down here. And it opens like that. And it's uh, it's pretty spacious. You got a 12 volt uh, DC outlet. You can put the seats down. And this is actually the the sky view. This is where it's like a nice little casing where you would put the sky view once you take it off the top, which I like. It's got a speaker in the back as well. To close it, it's got that logo. I'll hit it right here. And push it down again this is a dealer car it's my challengers in so driving it um drives like a jeep wrangler but it doesn't have as much power as i want it to um i hit the gas and it's like you know uh a civic power rating good for a co uh, high school college student you know um preferably uh, in this red color a girl obviously kind of hard for me driving it because I, I like uh, bigger cars like the Challenger or black but it's a small it's very safe um, feels like a little tank but it doesn't have power I hit the gas and it kind of jerks a little bit like it's a 2.4 liter but what can you say the turning radius the blind spots uh, work great but there is not enough power for me I wouldn't recommend it for any uh, uh, people that want a little bit more uh, power off the line, you know, um, 
but I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit more on it later on if you have any questions please message me below um, it's a great nice little car for a high school girl in this red color um, very safe um, it's got the back wiper the front wipers were great um, it's good um, for going to school maybe college boxes but with the power it's good to save gas so if that's uh, if that's your goal regular gas and uh, you know for high school that's perfect for a girl drive drives like a Jeep Wrangler if you like that suspension type then it's all you but it doesn't have enough power for me but thank you guys for watching um, please hit the like button below and subscribe I have a lot more videos uh, Chrysler, Fiat, Mopar, um, Dodge, Jeep whatever they give me and I'll always uh, come back and give you reviews please uh, ask any questions below and I'll be happy to answer them I usually answer them the same day or the next day all right, take care, guys. Bye.